Hello and welcome to another business tip. I was recently speaking with one of my premier family members and we were ch chatting about how to get the maximum use out of the small amount of time that you have with someone who stops by your table at a vendor event. So this week's business tip is gonna focus on what I say when I am interacting in that very short amount of time that I have with someone who walks to my table. Now I wanna say from the very beginning that regardless of how they answer my question, I'm gonna respond with pretty much the same information but here goes I'm gonna give you an example someone walks to my table and said and and I engage them that's what I'm looking to do and so I might ask them this question hi are you familiar with Premier and their response let's say is no I'm not familiar oh well I would love to take a short time let me just give you a little bit of information we are a 31 year old company who offers high fashion jewelry um, what that means is you're getting a quality product. It's backed by our great guarantee. It allows me to serve you beyond the initial purchase of your jewelry. If you have any kind of manufacturing defects, I'm able to help you with that. We also are so generous in that we are able to give our hostesses free and half price jewelry when I'm able to show the jewelry and you invite some friends over and I share some trends with them. And that's also a lot of fun as well. But you know, probably one of the best things for me is how much it has blessed me and our family through the income earning opportunity that Premier has provided me. Um, I'm finishing my 15th year I love what I do and I love being able to share it with other people. Have you ever been to any kind of in-home party of any kind? Okay, so let's just go over some of the things that I shared. I talked about Premier and the longevity of the company. I talked about that we have a great quality product and that we have a great guarantee. I talked about the fact that we offer um, just generously through our hostess plan. And then of course I talked about the um, income earning opportunity, which we might consider to be that little sponsoring um, talk that we're gonna include in there. Now of course the jewelry is in front, so I'm gonna have taken some time to maybe show them some jewelry or ask them questions about what kind of jewelry they like. Um, but you'll notice I did end with a question. Why? Because you want to be having a conversation with them. So it's not just an infomercial where you dump a whole bunch of information on them. You want it to be conversational um, in that. So that's an example of what I would say in a very short amount of time. Now, if I ask them, have you ever heard of Premiere? And they say, oh, yeah then I will all I'll respond in this way oh that's wonderful when was the last time that you were able to see the jewelry in person and I give them an opportunity to respond and I might ask them who is their jewelry lady or getting information why because I want to be sensitive to someone who may already be in a business relationship with another premier jeweler and I want to be respectful of that I don't want to try to schedule a show with someone or try to in, um, offer the business opportunity to someone who already is in a working relationship with another premier designs jeweler now if it's been um, a long time that they've been at a show or they've not been in contact with a jeweler um, and they tell me yes I'm familiar with Premier then I go then I would say oh well that means that you probably remember that we're a great company been in business 31 years and we offer a great product that's backed by our great guarantee and of course you probably have heard that we give it away for free and half price um, when I bring the jewelry and you get your friends together and we have a great time playing in the jewelry um, but you know probably more important than that is is just how much Premier has been a blessing for me and my family. So again, you're kind of hearing the same elements of what I shared the first time around. I just want to give you a little bit of a flavor of what that would sound like if someone was already familiar with Premier. Okay, so there you have it. Vendor events, you have a short amount of time. You have to be able to get um, the information out there that's gonna educate them enough that they are able to go, oh, okay. Um, some key things I wanna encourage you, this is primarily verbiage. There are many other aspects to having success at a vendor event, such as collecting their information. Um, you could do that through a drawing um, or something along those lines, but I'm gonna stick solely focused here on what's the verbiage that I see 
say and probably in future weeks I'll do some additional information on things that I do to, uh, additional things that I do to engage people I look forward to hearing how this has been helpful for you I tell you my mantra have jewelry and I want to show it vendor events are a great way to do that happy networking with people through getting your name and your jewelry out there and I'll look forward to seeing you back here for another business tip